I'm moron. Between 120 and 140, super intelligence, but over 140 indicates genius. I'm not a genius. No, no. That test terrible. That was like an inaccurate test. Unless this next test I take is even lower. Now you know what? If I do another question. I can't believe there's a Mensa subreddit. Okay, this is cringe. You shouldn't revolve your identity around your IQ. You should know online IQ tests are not the most accurate of things. Shut up. I have a strong suspicion a lot of online IQ test geniuses find their way to I am very smart. That's not true. I don't visit that subreddit. This is a validated test. It's accurate. I scored 145 IQ. This guy is so cringe. He thinks it's accurate because it gave him a high IQ. That's cringe, bro. I bet if I do the exact same test, I'm gonna end up higher. 30 minutes, 57 questions? Huh? What is the next item in the sequence? There's a sequence here? Huh? What, what is this? Turn your head. K-L-M-N. Are you serious? Is that what you need to do to solve IQ tests? You need to turn your fucking head? Okay, okay, that one doesn't count. All right, all right, all right. Well, let's we'll start again. Now that I know, like, you are allowed to turn your sheet around, okay? Okay, I didn't know that was part of the rules. Um, circle, circle. Combined. Three lines. How do you go from this to this? Oh, fuck, I'm stupid. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no, I'm turning my head, fuck it. Okay, so we know there's perfect symmetry. So it's this or this or this, right? What else do we know? This is so abstract that it should be the most logical thing, which is the box. Oh, it's alphabets again? It's the letter C, the letter D, the letter E, and this is... This is not fair. English was not my first language. I don't know the alphabet. I'm overthinking it. It's just alphabets. Look, some, no, this test is for people with low IQ. If you are able to get, this is a reverse IQ test. People who get these questions correct actually score lower. Cause you gotta be an idiot to think in that manner. Okay, one line, two line, three line. So the next one has four lines, right? <laughs> right. Bottom right, left. So four lines on the left, right? We can all agree. This is a collective IQ test. What's the next item in the sequence? Okay, it's always three, but the dots went down. Three, two, three, two, I would assume. The tau simple is top right, top right, and then it's middle bottom. Oh no, it's bottom right. Never mind. Okay, the star is moving. Is it? Bottom right, bottom left, top left. So star would be top right. And I only see one star in the top right with the two daughters. So it's fourth. Which pattern logically completes the image below? Um, well, it's gotta be the first three, right? Because it's like Sudoku. It's Sudoku. You don't want to have anything overlapping, repeating in column or row. So Sudoku. So we have this one top right. That's fine. This one has to be bottom left. The pattern goes from black, white to white, black to black, white to white, black. So it's two or three, right? And it's got to be two so that there's no repeats in column or row. Yeah. Star. Fidget spinner, fidget spinner, fidget spinner, star, fidget spinner. So there's always two fidget spinner and one star. Color wise, it could be white, white, black, black, white, white, black, black. So a single white would stand to reason. The star is constantly going down. So it will be a middle star. A middle star, it alternates between black and white, right? It's, it's one of these three. We just need to figure out the color patterns. White, black, white, black, white, black, white. So it will be a single black, black. So it's either two or three. Now, how do we figure out the two or three? Is the unique color changing in any way? So it's middle and then it's top. 
and then it's top and then it's bottom oh oh the black one is always just moving downwards right so it'll be at the bottom so it'll be a two it's just two if you were to hold a mirror to the right hand side of the image above reflecting on the vertical axes which image below represents its reflection so we just flip it horizontally right mm. so all the moons will be pointing right so it's gonna be three or five three or five looks almost identical except for this part so it should be three which image completes the missing space in the following shape it would be this or this probably this because it's the most even number four if you were to reflect the clock vertically on the vertical axis then horizontally on the horizontal axis okay so we reflect it vertically so boing and then we flip it Wait, wait. So it goes boing. Let me flip it. So number three. If you rotate the above image 90 degrees clockwise, which will look like? Well, all I have to do is turn my head 90 degrees clockwise, right? Number one. It's number three? No! If you think it's number three, you have low IQ. Wait. Yeah, it's number one. Which part of it completes the missing part? Uh, okay, so the bottom left has to be black. Okay, they all look kind of black. Um, number three. What common object can be made? Telephone. Refer to the graphs below to answer the questions. What? In the 10 year span, the average farm size has decreased by how many acres? Uh, well, this is like almost 700. 700, and this is like 580. Like 150. You're not exactly giving me accurate measurements, bro. In 1992, how many farms were larger than average? Again, you're not really... Okay, so... Okay. So this... Is small. Wait, wait. Larger than average. So you just take this number and divide by 2, right? So 720. So 360. Wait. Larger than average? Would it be 50%? Because av the law of average is 50? Or do you look at farms by size percent? But what is average? Okay, average would be 300, 360, right? So you look at farms bigger than 360. No, no, no. The, the average farm size is 700. What am I saying? Am I high? Average farm size is 700. So you just look at this pie chart and you look at farms bigger than 700 acres. So all the reds, all the blues, and like, I don't know, half the yellows. So you're supposed to spitball that. That is t under 25%. So 25%. The general trend for the size of farms between 1992 and 2002, the number of farms with less than 100 acres has become equal to all other types combined. Yes, that's true, right? Like when you look at this, it's half of the other side. There are many more farms with more than 500 acres than before. No, that's a lie. 
the number of farms with 100 to 500 acres have increased significantly. Now that's literally the same thing, but a lie, right? There has been a steady decrease. No, that's a lie. So it's gotta be number one. Oh no, statistics. New York County household makes up approximately what percentage of the state's total household in 2000? So what, you just want me to do math? Like 10%, right? 1.5 million is 10% of 1.9 million-ish. This is just, this is statistics. How many people were there per household in New York County? Oh, you just do division. Like two-ish? 15 divided by seven is two plus a little change. 2.08 or 2.12. What? You want me to do that math? Okay, 1537 divided by 7388. So you're left with 1444, four, four, which gives you about 100, which is less than 10% of your original number. So it should be 2.08. No, 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 no. Well, it should be 1.12, right? Because you have what 10,000 people and that's technically more than 10% of 73 so yeah it should be 0.12 then if in 2000 there are 67,000 people per square mile in New York County what is the size of the county so you just divide the population with 67,000 this is an IQ test you're just asking me math question you're asking me 1537 divided by 67 which is more than 20. We know that much. There's a 23 and a 23.4. I'm going to go with the 0.4 because 23.0 is too easy. Choose the word whose meaning is opposite to the word in capital letter. The opposite of vertiginous. Vert, vertiginous. Well, I know vertigo is unbalanced, so it should be balanced, right? Ir irreverent. I hold him with reverence. A reverend, Reverend Lovejoy from The Simpsons, is treated with respect, right? So irreverent is someone who doesn't have a lot of respect. So the opposite of rever irreverent is back to reverent. So respectful. Choose the word whose meaning is closest. Lith. Lith is young, right? Lith and supple. Like the woman's lith pale body. Well, no, that doesn't really make sense. It's not necessarily young. Is it flexible? Lith. The drow from... The fantasy world had a lith body. Maybe it is flexible. Obsolete. Useless. Antiquated. Tribulation. Trials. Administration. Suffering. Trials and tribulations. Officious. Honorary. Smelly. Businesslike. Businesslike. Because business is conducted in an office. Which of the following five is least like the other four? Milkshake. Gin. Juice. Gin. Whiskey. Milk. Well, there's milk and milkshake, so that's definitely a thing. Gin and whiskey are both alcohol. It's gotta be juice. It's juice. What's juice doing there? Milkshake is thick. The woman sat back in her chair, pondering the best way to conclude her purposefully explicit essay. No, that doesn't make sense. Determining the best way to conclude her pers purposefully daffy? Perspicuous. Contemplating the best way to... Uh, contemplating. Thread is to cloth as hair is to... So a cloth is made out of thread, right? A piece of cloth is filled with a lot of thread. And hair makes up a lot of your braid. Yes. Date is to divorce as interview is to fire. 
Yeah, because dating is implying good, divorce bad. Interview good, fire bad. Hanger is to closet as tree is to. Hanger belongs in a closet, so a tree belongs in a forest. Haiku is a is to poem as biography is to a book. Because a haiku is a poem. So a biography is a book. Yes. Comb is to rooster as mane is to lion. Because a rooster has a little comb. A car is to gas as coffee maker is to coffee beans. Coffee. A car needs gas. A coffee make what? Electricity. Because a car consumes gas, and a coffee maker makes coffee but consumes electricity. Magnate is too weak, as philosopher is too. Thoughtless. Because a magnate is strong, and you take the opposite of strong, which becomes weak. A philosopher is thoughtful, so you take the opposite of thoughtful, which ends up a thoughtless. Vice, vice. What is this? Vice is to brace, as auger is to. What's an auger? Drill. I'm going to say drill. What would be the next number in the series? 134451806240080. You take a number and you divide it by 3, right? But then you take that number and you times 4. So 320. What number should be the next one in the series? 512 Divide by 8, divide by 8, 1 over 8. What would be the next number in the series? 32, 36, 9, 12, 4, 6. So it goes up, then it goes down, then it goes up, then it goes down, then it goes up, then it goes down. So it's adding 4, and then adding 3, and then adding 2. But this over here, divide by 4, divide by 3. Divide by 2, so it'd be 3. Assume first two statements are true. Indicate whether or not you can draw a conclusion. All blondes are mortal. Jack is mortal. Therefore, we can conclude that Jack is a blonde. False. We cannot conclude that. If Natasha leaves the house, it rains. If it's a Wednesday, Natasha will leave the house. Therefore, we can conclude if it's Wednesday, it will rain. Yes. Because Wednesday, Wednesday equals Natasha leaving the house, which equals raining. So Wednesday equals rain. Some trees have flowers. All flowers have bees. Therefore, we can conclude that all trees must have bees. No. False. Because some trees can have no flowers. No L are Q's. All Q's are J's. Therefore, some J's are L's. All Q's are J. No, we can't conclude that. Nancy can either be at the wedding or do her homework. She decided to be at the wedding. Therefore, we can conclude that she will do her homework. No, what? She's at the wedding. Some toasters are chrome. All chrome is shiny. Therefore, all toasters are shiny. No, that's false too. Either metal is pink or fire is green. So fire is green. Therefore, we can conclude that metal is not green. No, that's false. We just know that metal is not pink. So it can be green. On the test, Philip failed either the multiple choice or the essay. So the teacher says he passed the essay. Therefore, he failed the multiple choice. Yeah. True. 
A biker rode 45 miles in 180 minutes. What speed is he traveling? So three, it's three hours, right? So 45 divided by three, so he has 15. Terry and Chris goes on a five mile race against each other. Terry practice running four miles. Chris practice twice. Who will win the race? Assuming they both maintain their average pace. Okay. So Terry did four miles and this is the result. So you get the average of these numbers. 30 plus 44, 74, 108, which averages out to like, what's 108 divided by three? 33.6. Yeah, 33.6. No, that's oh 36. Ooh, no, I'm thinking 10 point uh, 36, right? Sorry. 36 divided by four. We have to divide by four too. So that's eight, 36, 18, nine. He runs nine miles per hour or per minute. It takes him nine minutes to run a mile. Yes, there we go. It takes him nine minutes to run one mile. Chris practices twice. Okay, so his average is 22. So he runs, it takes him 11 minutes to run one mile. So Terry wins. A group of old ladies meet for a party. They bring all their cats in. There are 22 heads and 72 feet. So they always add up to 22, right? Humans have two legs and cats have four legs. So you just times two, the first number, and times four, the second number. And you want to end up with 72. Well, four times two is six, eight. So it can be this. Four times, it can be this. So it has to be this. Nine times two is 18. 13 times four is... Actually, no, 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 never mind. That doesn't make sense. Six plus six. Okay, eight times two is 16. All right, I remember that 16. And then 14 times four is 56. Yeah, it's eight and 14. Emily is four years old. Her big sister, Amy, is three times as old as Emily. So Amy's 12. She'll be 16 because Amy will be Alice has seven times the amount of pens that Maurice has. Paul has two thirds of the pens as Alice and Susie. Don, okay. Let me zoom this in for you guys. What's the question? If Susie has two pens, how many does Don have? Okay, let's work with Susie. Susie has two and Susie has half of Maurice. So Maurice has four. And then Alice has seven times Maurice, 28, 28 plus two is 30. So Paul has 20 pens and 20, Don has a dozen more. So 32. Your teenage daughter, Sally and her friend, Monica invented a secret alphabet. Hi, Monica. Yesterday, question, question, question mark asked me out. You want to know who he is. Can you figure it out from the notes? Okay. P equals L. L, wait, no, L equals P. No, P equals L. U equals M. J equals A. O equals R. And F equals T. Martin. Jason is shorter than Helen, and Christopher is taller than Dave. Which of the following is true is Hel if Helen is taller than Christopher? So it goes Helen, Christopher, and then Jason and Dave, but we don't know what's the order. Helen is taller than Dave. Yes, that much we know. Everyone has their morning beverages differently. Deb and Allison both take sugar in their drinks. Deb. Eric, Shauna all drink tea while the other three drink coffee. What's the question? 
What does Tom drink? There's a Tom here? Uh, he drinks something black. And something with coffee? So black coffee. Because he doesn't do anything else. He don't take sugar, he don't drink milk, and he don't drink tea. It's black coffee. Harold kids went to the pet store and each bought a pet. Okay, let's just look at the question. Pebble is the name of the fish. The bird's name is Boulder. And Rocky belongs to the oldest one. Sandy liked animal with, with two legs. Chrissy is too young to have the hamster. So hamster, bird... Who's Rocky? Hamster, bird, fish. Mark, Sandy, Chrissy. So there's three and three, right? Rocky is the hamster. Sandy has the bird. Sandy has the bird. Mark has the hamster. Chrissy has the fish. Rocky is the name of the hamster. Oh my god. Okay. All three employees will work with both managers at some point during the week, right? Okay. David is the only one that works four days a week. Kathy is in on Tuesday or Wednesday. Neil only works three days. The only time Dave is doing accounting is Monday through Wednesday. Okay. If Sam wants to, if Sam wants work done on Friday, who should he ask? Well, he can't ask David because David don't do a, don't do accounting. On Fridays, Neil gets four day weekends, but technically that go that can go to Monday and Tuesday. Alright, Kathy isn't working Tuesday or Wednesday. That means she's free Friday to work. David is the only one who works four days a week. So on his fourth day working, it could be Friday. He can't do accounting. He'll do inventory. So it's definitely not David. Is it me or Kathy? Wait, so Kathy isn't in Tuesday, Wednesday. So that means Neo has to do inventory on Tuesday and Wednesday, right? So that means Neil won't be in on Friday so that he can do his... So it has to be Kathy. Oh wait, Kathy isn't in on Tuesday or Wednesday. So I guess if she's not in on Wednesday, Neil can technically still have his four day weekend. Fuck it, I'm just gonna say Kathy. Milton has his office supplies laid out properly. Pens are left of the memo. So you have the memo, you have the pens. The memo must be in the middle. The lamp cannot be next to the stapler. The clipboard is to the left of the stapler. Which position is the lamp in? So. Memo, pen, clipboard, stapler, lamp. So lamp is number one. Alright, last question. It is possible that if two sons and two fathers go out to dinner and each bring home a doggy bag, there will be three doggy bags. What? There are two sons and two fathers. That's four people. And they each bring home a doggy bag. There's only three doggy bags. So how does four people become three? <gasps> Grandpa? Dad, son. Oh my fucking god. Oh, I'm a fucking genius. Why are they collecting my data? Dude, wait, I'm just filling up a questionnaire. Just score my test. 141, you know, I'll take it. I'll take it. IQ classification. According to Wikipedia, if you're above 130, you're very superior. If you're above 140, you are either a near genius or a genius. 
So guys, it has been officially proven today that disguised toes meets the Oxford Dictionary definition of what a genius is. Yes, I am very smart. And I took it on the most accurate IQ website test in the world. Tells, weren't you looking at chat? No, I wasn't looking at chat. And also, let's be honest, if I was to take answers from chat, my score would go down. Because according to my IQ test, I'm smarter than 99.5% of you. So why would I take advice from you guys, right? All right, see you guys in a bit. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I think there's a bell. Maybe there's a bell you click. Is there a bell you click here for notifications? There's a bell. Yeah, hit that bell. Thanks for hanging out.